नमस्कार आवर टॉपिक टूडे इज एग्जॉशन वॉट टू डू एंड ड्रिंक मोर अल्कोहोल दैट वॉट वो हेल्प यू कमान स्टॉप बीटिंग हर शी नीड्स टू रिलैक्स आई मैन बॉबी कोवा वेलकम टू ए बी लाइफ टाइम चैनल अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ सो टू डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक As usual I did a little case so we'll see in the beginning the little case then we will do the case analysis and in the end of course con- conclusion so to jump into the case let me introduce to Nina These are the questions I supposed to answer All right I'm Nina. I'm 50 years old. Hard to believe, right? Yeah. So my request is um I'm exhausted. Yes, I'm exhausted. What happened? I have a I had a great project and I lost it. Just recently several months ago. And um I have very successful project and uh, right now I feel like I need to search for new opportunities I need to be active and you know what I'm absolutely exhausted I cannot do that all the time I'm sleepy when I just wake up 15 minutes later I am absolutely exhausted and I want to sleep Do I let myself sleep during the day? Are you crazy? Of course no. I need to make a research it, a research. I need to find new opportunities. So what I'm doing? Really what I'm doing instead of uh, research, I usually sit down in front of computer and just just stupidly looking in the screen. It's all procrastination. I just need to know the tips how to how to be active. I was never like that. Never. I don't know what to do. I didn't even know that word procrastination. And now I'm the one who procrastinates a lot. Ah, and by the way, you know what what happens sometimes? Sometimes I let my sle- uh, myself sleep during the daytime. So I would I would blame myself all the time like you need to do stuff, you need to do stuff. And then suddenly I I'm like I give up and then I go to my bed and I fall fall asleep like 3 p.m. and then I wake wake up at 8 p.m. I have a horrible mood, like I am all mad and like day day I wasted the whole day and I'm mad I don't like this I just don't do stuff I need to do stuff give me the tips how I can do the stuff okay how long does it uh, uh, how long does it, do I experience that it's probably about I experience that about Five months since I lost my project. Yeah. And what happened before? Um, before that, I had a horrible divorce with my husband, and finally we divorced one year a year ago. Oh no, I'm completely fine about that. I'm fine. Don't worry. I don't even thinking about this mother. no i don't spend time on thinking about that come on lift your butt and start to search for the for other projects you're wasting your life you're 50 years old tomorrow is 60 or 70 you know and you know what honestly i am not surprised that your husband left you and find much better woman you do not deserve it you are loser and i know right now you just going to be depressed for for the rest of your life and just sleep 
in your bed. Mm -hmm. And drink more alcohol. That's what will help you. Come on, stop beating her. She needs to relax. Do you understand what hard time she went through? Hey, Nina, please take your time. Take care of yourself. If you don't know how to take care of yourself, just uh, find help. Search for the help. I love you. Case analysis. I will give you the checkpoints and we will be using the Nina, uh, Nina's case to analyze that. And checkpoints will be about your body, mind and spirit. So in first, let's start with checkpoints for your body. So in first one, which is important, physically important, it's like vital, is sleep, is it good or not? And in the case of Nina, we see that she tells, uh, she wakes up and 15 minutes later, she already feels exhausted. So what does it mean for me that we need to check their, of course, with the health specialist, her health, and uh, we need to figure out about her sleep. If it is on the level of sleep, what's going on, when, what time she's going to sleep, how many hours she sleeps. And there is additional stuff which is connected to her mind, which we'll be talking later. So when I was doing the piece of about the sleeping pattern, I forgot to say, when Nina complains that she, feel, she feels exhausted during the daytime, so, and this is usually what happens with people, you know, after 35, 40, people start to complain on that. Like people, you feel so exhausted during the day, like you can't hardly survive to the evening to the work, uh, through the working day. Also people in recovery, mostly in early recovery do complain on that too. Like, what should I do and uh, how to survive, just survive through the day? I feel completely exhausted. And also what Nina tells, she tells that she goes to sleep and then she fall, fall asleep for hours. And then she wakes up in bad mood and everything. Yes, that's what happens. So what to do with that? Very short naps help with this completely to recover. So the main thing, just do not go to deep sleep more than 40 minutes. So from 10 to 40 minutes, usually 10 minutes is absolutely enough, but sometimes it's 20, 30. So you can, if you are at work, you just can, you can just fold a little bit forward and even put your hands on the, on the desk, right? And have a little like not deep, the main idea just not go deeply into sleep. If you somewhere where you can do, you can lay down flat on the floor on your back, right? And uh, the main thing is just put something on your eyes, or be, I don't know, towel or something so it's dark, right? And just have this 10, 15 minutes nap. You can do it two times per day, several times per day, and do it every day. When you get into this pattern, Doing that on a regular basis, it completely covers you and it helps a lot. And it doesn't affect your mood. You do not wake up in bad mood and it doesn't like ruin all the day. Second thing is exercising. What is physically makes you strong? We didn't ask Nina in her case about what does she do. I don't know about that. But physical part is, the exercising part is very important and this is exactly what makes you strong, what makes body strong. Don't be surprised if you do not exercise why you feel exhausted, right? And it needs to be regularly, not once a week or once a month going to the gym. It, something needs to happen regularly. Some people naturally understand this. You know that you know that people. Maybe you are that person who does uh, walks each day, or I don't know, bicycling, whatever. Some people understand it naturally by body, by the body, and some people first need to learn that with the mind, and then understand to do that. But it needs to happen regularly. Otherwise, there is no ways 
it will be coming and coming if you do not exercise then do not be surprised that you feel exhausted 10,000 steps per day is indicator for enough cardio activity per day right and also of course if you do not exercise don't be surprised that you do not sleep good it's all connected it's all wrapped third thing is what do you eat and when it affects your sleep and exercising of course so here's the thing i hear this very often that people say say that they eat healthy and different people <laughs> understand different things under eating healthy so this need to be checked because sometimes people count that they eat healthy if they come home and have the dinner at uh, 8 p.m okay healthy dinner chicken breast and salad and 9 p.m they are going to bed so these food definitely affect the sleep so this need to be addressed too right of course i have to say it here so just generally what's going on with your health because you can feel exhausted just because of your health issues right so uh, blood tests uh, does anything bother you are your teeth healthy going to the doctor right so we count the substances uh which we take right alcohol or any other substances uh, medications is definitely something which doesn't provide the energy right caffeine by the way checkpoints for your mind uh this is the most important part this part which i usually work with right nina complains on exhaustion and usually people for example nina talks to her friend so what friend usually would say take are you taking vitamins go and do your hair go dance go to the movie find a boyfriend these are regular things but there is the most important thing and i try to show you there with that voices right so do you recognize these voices so there is one of them is this judging blaming punishing voice and it looks like nina at this particular moment following and listening this voice and another healthy voice which we usually when a person coming to me for facilitating for facilitating we usually make the contract with that voice which is supportive which is like representation of your healthy part so and the most of energy which we waste we are wasting on the inner conflict of listening these voices and what we need to do in the particular case and uh, in other case we need to understand what is this inner conflict about where is really energy where is the the flush of energy happens when and where exactly second thing procrastination so <laughs> nina complains there that uh, she procrastinates a lot like uh, blaming she's that's what usually people when they talking about procrastination they count that it's laziness right so i am not talking i should be doing the my uh, personal video about procrastination separate video about procrastination but to make it short what does mean being lazy in this particular case what does this laziness what does this procrastination shows what is it sign about right what is it signaling about to you, nina I, it's just my guess is right in, in this moment i don't know having a fear of being unsuccessful right possible maybe uh, maybe she doesn't like at all what she what she was doing and right now it is just the resistance toward this uh finding this new project maybe she doesn't like what she does and maybe she wants to change and do something different right and and find her real purpose of her life maybe this is her time this all need to be addressed so procrastination is never laziness right it's always signaling about something important okay third important thing 
which I would pay attention is she mentioned there that it's about one year, maybe less, since she divorced. And the question is, have, has she ever addressed this issue? Have, has she ever processed her feelings? Maybe she's still grieving because it looks like at this moment she's like, no, 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 I'm not talking about that. Like she's splitting away, right? This part of her life, this part of her feelings. Like, and there is the voice which offering her to numb herself. Yes, so if it's offering numb herself, then it means she is numbing some sort of feelings, right? Some emotions. This, of course, need to be addressed. And checkpoints for the spirit, it's only one thing which I would like to do. Does she have any spiritual practices which she uses on the regular basis to take care of her uh, spirit? It is like the spirit is like the same with physical body. If you do not do this on regular basis, then it's there are no reasons to expect that spirit is strong right and when hard time in this particular case hard time difficult time is coming it's hard to deal with that right if you do not have on a regular basis physical and spiritual activities so maybe it is time for nina if she doesn't have maybe it is time for her to make her researches and find that concepts not what somebody tells her, her friends, go to church, right? But find that concepts which work for her. Con conclusion. I see the issue with Nina, right? If you remember how she came, her request was, I need to learn the tips uh, against of procrastination. And the funniest thing it can happen. She can learn the, the tips, she can learn the techniques, how not to procrastinate. It's like full internet, internet is full of that, or there are all kinds of trainers are doing that, so she can learn. But the main thing, there are deeper levels, right? Her feelings, her purpose, the reality, which need to be addressed. If she doesn't, then she just keep in this spiral. Then she will be addressing this uh, one year later, five years later, if not to dig there and not uh, do this self-care which is supposed to happen. Yes, sometimes it's very painful. Sometimes it is hard to do through the sweat, through the tears but these things need to be addressed right and again the concepts which she can use and you can use can be different that concepts which which fit your values right but this need to be addressed not to get in this spiral over and over and over and over short points as a conclusion right so what we are doing for the body checking sleep with the, with the with the whole exhaustion uh picture right so we're checking our sleep we're checking our exercising we are checking our eating patterns we are checking our health right checkpoints for the mind we need to find the inner conflict what is it about then address procrastination or uh, laziness find out so what is it about right what is it signaling about we are addressing all other issues which happened recently and were never addressed if we find that we still have emotions and probably if we are trying to avoid them and please remember about taking care of your physical activities and spiritual activities this need to be done on the regular basis that's when you no matter what happens you are standing strong and can deal with whatever is happening all right so i'm anna bobikova i work in monterey california i work in person and online so if you live distantly you can reach me online 
Also, you can come here to Monterey, California. I'm doing workshops here, two, three days workshops. I'm probably thinking about doing one day workshops too. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment below the video. Namaste.